some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in Georgia where a Moorish sovereign citizen has just been pulled over for speeding. And, well, he has all sorts of uh, wild ideas, such as him being the governor of Georgia. Now, this guy also included commentary in his video, so I'm going to be addressing some of that as well. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. First, I gave him our USAR law enforcement pamphlet. Okay, so this just explains to you what to do here in the U.S. if you get pulled over? Yes, and, and, and you make sure that um, law enforcement understands that there's nationals traveling. Those are our issued driver's licenses just to make sure that because, you know, it's a learning curve. It's it's not, you know, common. So I make sure that I carry things to make sure law enforcement understands was, uh, that I'm a national. I'm actually the governor of the province of Georgia, actually. For success, it's important to stay calm and build rapport. Well, yeah, I'm a, and I'm a, I'm a holistic doctor. Uh, which is why I deliver the medical supplies. Boy certified doctor. Okay. So. That's like one of those no duh moments right there. In any job, you have to build rapport with your clientele to do anything with them. In your situation, it would help you build rapport if you didn't show your fake Morse documents to him. Instead, give him the real ones. And to further that rapport, don't pretend to be a governor of a fake state that doesn't exactly exist. That kind of gives you a uh, look of a Napoleonic complex. That would not be a good way to establish a rapport with somebody. Now I got one more question. Yes, sir. How much marijuana is in the vehicle? None. Okay, I'm getting a strong odor of marijuana from the vehicle. You can check if you like. Okay. You can check if you like, but it's my board certification. Oh, I, I don't need that, sir. And I, and there, you can check. There's no marijuana in the vehicle, but I and I also have that as well from the national government. But there is no marijuana in the vehicle. It is so. at this point okay. I pull out my USAR issued marijuana license and put it on the dashboard for the officer to see. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Mm -hmm. You just can't print out a fake uh, document like that and expect it to uh, pass inspection, right? If it were possible to get away with it, everybody would definitely be doing it. I immediately let him know he can search so he wouldn't grow suspicious. I'll put these here. I mean, come on, dude. Get with reality. It was the smell emanating from your car that made him suspicious to begin with. But notice, he never tells me he's radioing for backup to move forward with the search until I ask him. Oh my goodness, dude. He radioed for backup with an earshot of you. He didn't need to tell you he did it. But yeah, then they also advised to, you know, well. I'm sorry? I was just going to say that um, uh, as governor, we always tell our citizens, like, we always tell our citizens to let the... Uh, officer know that if there's any verification that needs to be done or anything that you are supposed to call uh call my president okay um yeah i don't think the officer needs to call a fictitious president to let them know that a fake governor has been uh detained on a traffic stop uh it doesn't work that way but um but yeah I'm, and i do apologize for going too fast i it does it change does the speed limit drop at a certain point because this isn't my area uh not till you get to clayton but the maximum speed limit in raven county which is where we are right now is 55. and how many miles am i in raven Ray raven inside of raven you are probably about six miles inside raven right now how many miles to get through though to where it to where you where you're headed yeah uh, well, I mean, I think last time, I, and I might have, I look, I was looking at GPS to check. I think it last said I had 15 more minutes to get to this nursing home. So Okay. Yeah, you're not very far. Dude, if you are not familiar with an area, then take your time, slow down, and observe the posted speed limits and go from there. 
Yeah. And my seatbelt's so. on. Yes, I'm thankful <laughs> for that. Thank you, <laughs> Hang on just a second. I'm trying to get my radio to work. Yeah, and that was one thing I was trying to do. My GPS conked out on me a quick second with no signal while I was driving. Wait a second. You missed something there, dude. You forgot to play your semantic word games. I mean, you just said you were driving. You should have said you were traveling. I mean, come on now. You're not doing this very well. Get with the program. You failed that opportunity right there. Remember, our government is an ally with his government, so there's no need to be militant or hostile with the officer. Uh, I hate to tell you this, but the United States doesn't recognize your uh, fake country and uh, certainly doesn't have any treaties with it. I mean, we got plenty of treaties with other countries like North Korea and uh, China, and we recognize them. But I don't think we recognize yours. And that's because uh, China and uh, North Korea are actually countries. You, on the other hand, are a more sovereign citizen who is trying to claim territory that doesn't exactly belong to you. After engaging with the officer, he has a clear understanding that I am not a U.S. citizen and he must engage with me differently. Seems like any other banal traffic stop to me, besides the fact that there's a wild card in the picture, mainly in the form of a uh, diluted more soft hard. As a national, I let the officer know I am fully compliant with his processes. Okay, sorry about that. You just, well, you gotta check my registration and stuff? No, since you gave, said I could check the card because I do smell that odor, I'm asking for another unit to come up here, just so oh, for well, officer safety. Okay. I, I, okay. Well, I, I really, I don't actually want to. Well, it, you can go ahead and do what you got to do because I'm, I'm trying to get to going. Um, I'm thinking real fast at this I don't, point. Do I have to consent to a search? I mean, you I didn't, I didn't. I, that's not exactly what I was trying to do. Um, consenting to opening my car and doing all this. Um, but there, there is no marijuana, so or anything uh, illegal in the vehicle. No, you know, so yeah. Dude, your speech patterns are all over the place right now. It sounds like you're not entirely confident in what you just said. Like they will find something that you uh, are hiding at this point. Maybe the smell that the officer uh, indicated earlier is uh, accurate. I mean, you don't have to consent, but I mean, with the odor I'm smelling, I'm just going to get a canine out here. I was uh, waiting on him to say that. I mean, it's up to you. What's up to me? You, you, if, you, if you want to give consent or not. Consent to search the vehicle. If I consent, does a canine have to come? We have to wait on all of those things? No, sir. If you consent, we don't have to wait on a canine. Okay. I knew the answer to that. I just wanted to hear like, him say like said, it. Let's, it let, like, I don't need to be waiting on a canine. Um, so... And like, and if there's any problems, I highly advise that you discuss, uh, also discuss with my uh, national government who's issued all rights, but there's nothing in here. So I don't even know why it would be necessary, but just letting you know. Okay. Let me see if I can get this straight. You want your fake government to talk to the, his real government so they can come to an agreement about you getting special privileges on the road. Um, okay, I don't think that's going to work out very well for you, buddy. Well, let me just explain how where I'm at right now. Okay. Marijuana is illegal in the state of Georgia. Okay. A little bit like this, less than an ounce, I don't care about it. Uh-huh. I'm just going to destroy it. Because uh -huh. you, you can't be in possession of it. I understand. But it, any amount whatsoever is illegal in the state of Georgia. Okay. All right? And, yeah, okay. That's and, why I'm going through all this with you. And, and the only reason that I'm mentioning this is because it's like as far as national government um, and not being not being a 14th Amendment citizen, Negro, black, colored, I'm Moorish, American national.
Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, if you're not a U.S. citizen, as you claim, then uh, why are you worried about the 14th Amendment, which would not apply to you to begin with, if you uh, are truly not a U.S. citizen? So, the my, gov the, uh, my national government, which supersedes the federal, has issued me rights. Uh, yeah, you're not making a lot of sense here, dude. Your government would not supersede the laws of the federal government. Uh, yeah, uh, that's just insane right there. To, for it. So I'm just making sure that that part is clear. This isn't a generic thing. This is an actual national, but, uh, you know, I'm, a lot of people don't know that we actually have, um, an indigenous Native American national government for, uh, Africans born in America. So Dude, your cult is less than a hundred years old, and that's what it is. It's a cult, and it is not recognized by the U.S. government as a sovereign nation. Now, it is true that there are Indian reservations scattered throughout the United States that are their own uh, entities, but they are still under the U.S. government. But there are no more uh, reservations recognized by the U.S. government, so... Uh, you got any more BS? So, but I'm just being thorough with explaining things. And I, what do you need I, me to do so it. that you can check? I'm not saying you're what in do trouble you, for well, that. No, I understand. So what do you, what would you need me to do at this point? Because I really need to get to these patients. I, I'm honestly and just waiting on another unit. So I'm that you, look real your quick, safety. Get you on the road. I got you. Okay. I understand for your I, safety. I can't have you standing out here while I'm looking in your vehicle. Makes sense. That's not that safe wouldn't for even me make or you. Yeah, you definitely would train better than that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that either. I understand. Now the whole part about uh, if it's just a little bit, I don't care about it. I'll just destroy it. But you can't have it in the state of Georgia. I respect that you can't have it. I, we we respect their laws but either way i'm a non-citizen you have no jurisdiction over me so all you can do is destroy it but my use our constitution says that i can yeah, possess I this route. marijuana dude if you truly believed in anything that you just said and that he didn't have any jurisdiction over you then why did you stop perhaps it deep down inside of you, you realize that everything that you just said is a bunch of BS. So I do this route. I do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then another guy does Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. All right. Well, just please keep in mind you got to be slowing down. You can't be speeding like that, okay? I, I understand. It's definitely unsafe. Dude, you just contradicted yourself. Earlier you said that you don't know the area, and now you say that you drive around here a little bit more frequently than you just said earlier. So I hope that the officer will catch on to that and uh, really shove those tickets in, down your pocket so you have to pay them. Not only is it unsafe for you, but for others as well, okay? I understand. And I did, I'm not seeing the speed limit. I thought I was in pocket thinking it was maybe 60, 65, where I'm like, I try to stay under 10 miles of it. Uh, I'm gonna have you step back here. You can bring your phone and continue to record if you'd like. Yes, sir. But I'm gonna have you step back here to the front of my car, okay? I'm gonna put, reach down, put my shoes on. Perfectly fine. In my opinion, consenting to the search is always the best option. Dude, the Fourth Amendment protects you from unreasonable searches and seizures. If the officer had not smelled the uh, substance, then you would have been uh, well within your right to say, I decline the search because you still have your Fourth Amendment right to be uh, protected from unreasonable searches and seizures. So don't take any legal advice from this guy anyway. But anyway, this officer does have probable cause to do the search. So let's continue on. And as you can see, I continue to engage with the officer, continue to be friendly, find common ground so that you seem normal, you know, uh, make friends, you know, be allies, act like an ally. Very important also. Dude, you're not exactly normal on this plane of existence, that's for sure. Sir, your glove box is locked. Can I open that up? Yes, because you're probably going to have to get a dog. The key out of the ignition? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
What if I say no? Then you gotta get a dog. <laughs> it's your decision, but I'm I'm just gonna call a canine. Okay. Yeah, we don't have time. Go ahead. <laughs> you 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 gonna pull the key out? Is there any marijuana in there, dude? No. Has there been recently? No. Okay. Do you have a fire on in there? It might. Is it? It should. I, I should have taken out. I usually take it out every night. Or. Oh. Uh oh. If you had that in your glove box the whole time, it should have been one of the first things you mentioned instead of talking about your soft tarred nonsense. I, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. One more thing to check. Yeah, just try to remember that way if you get pulled over just to get to off. To so say, uh, yeah, yeah. Just, hey, I got a fire on the glove box. Does it be a lot help or no, it'll it, make no so, difference? So the, the vehicle is an extension of your home. Uh -huh. So you can possess firearm in your vehicle. As long as you can legally possess firearm, you're, you're fine to do that. Okay. Because um, I was, um, question. Mm -hmm. I've heard it's, it should be on the seat. If the glove box doesn't lock, but if the glove box locks, put it in there. It, and not to have it on my person while I'm driving, right? It, well, it, it's your preference. There's no wall that says you can't have it on your person. Okay, in the um, car. Yeah, the, the car is considered an extension of your home. Um, your place of business is considered an extension of your home. So right. You can have that firearm in your vehicle. There's nothing that says, you know, like some states used to have something where if it's in the car, it's got to be unloaded. The mammo's got to, it's none of that. It's... It's just like if you have it at your house, um, we just ask that, it, you know, when you get pulled over, just to say, hey, you know, heads up, I got to Make sure I'm, yeah. yeah. I actually didn't think I brought it with me tonight. I thought I left. I didn't think I even had All it right, on. Here's your information back as well as your driver's license. Thank you, sir. Just keep in mind, you got to keep them speeds down. Will right. do. Will do. Right. I appreciate you, fellas. Yes, sir. You be safe. You have a good night, bud. Peace and love. 55, right? All right. That's how you do it, Nationals. Everything checked out. My ID was just fine. He smelled marijuana, check. Handled that, let me go. Uh, no, uh, that's not exactly how it would have gone down if you had only that to back you up. I suspect that you actually have a valid uh, Georgia driver's license and registration because all he did was let you off with a warning. If you uh, didn't have any of your registration papers or driver's license, it would have been a much different story. I can guarantee you that. So basically all you're doing right here is just uh, gaslighting everybody into thinking that uh, your sovereign citizen Moorish garbage worked out for the better in this case which will encourage other people to do the same thing and lead to disaster. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.